And in global news today, the annual GDI Energy Summit is still underway aboard the space station Philadelphia. Our own Cassandra Blair reports on the landmark goals set for this year's summit. When top administrators return to work here tomorrow, they're hoping for a new fiscal agenda. According to Director Kinsberg, one of the key talking points for this year's summit is shifting resource allocation from defense to ecology, where the eradication of Tiberium is now viewed as a more pressing concern than the containment of... Excuse, excuse the interruption, but we're getting breaking news on the Philadelphia. Apparently, just moments ago, there was an accident. That's obviously something has gone terribly wrong. We're going to do our best to confirm what we're all seeing, but this time, we have no idea what possibly could have caused a tragedy this magnitude. We're going to go live now to Cassandra Blair back outside the Northeastern Admin Building. Cassandra. William, William, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's incredible. There's so much smoke, you can't see more than 10 meters, and there's debris falling all over the city. Ah! Unbelievable. The destruction of the Philadelphia was not an accident. It was a merciful bullet to the head of a malignant ideology. It was the death of fear and the birth of hope. Rejoice, children of Nod. The blood of your oppressors will flow, and 50 years of tyranny will finally end. Transformation is coming. A new day will dawn. The future is ours. Unbelievable. Hold on. We're getting breaking news now from our Northwestern affiliate. And they just came out of nowhere. No warning, nothing. Bombs started dropping. And from what we can tell, there is no sign of GDI retaliation at all. It just a massacre. Commander, all hell's broken loose. Nod's launched preemptive strikes in every major blue zone across the board. Most of our troops are pinned down. Our ASAT defense system is still offline, and I have no goddamn idea who's running the show at GDI. This is no time to stand on protocol. The entire northeastern seaboard's been overrun, and we're taking the worst of it right here in D.C. General, they're starting evac procedures. You go ahead, sir. Sir, you can't wait here. That is an order, Sandra. Sir. Kiersey James and theater ops will bring you up to speed. It's all on you now, Commander. I need you to take back this city. All right, Commander, here's the latest. Nod forces are going in for the kill, closing in on the Pentagon. As you know, there is no more vital structure in the region. It is the center of our command and control network. If we lose the Pentagon, it could be the beginning of the end. You cannot let this happen. Hello everyone, welcome back to Command and Conquer 3 GDI Campaign Part 2. Today, time to defend the Pentagon. Yep. let's see, the GIS, let's see, the Philadelphia has been destroyed. And, well, and it's complete chaos. Nod has launched attacks on every blue zone here in the world. Now, the last structure in is the Pentagon yes, here. Basically, we have to defend... Uh-oh. Incoming transmission. The Pentagon's defenses are without power. Restore power by capturing the power plants with engineers. Well, now, here's the scene, though. Nod has launched a surprise attack on all blue zones. The Pentagon is the last strategic... Uh, no command structure in the reason. We lose the Pentagon. They win. So we got yeah, we got two riflemen. We got some engineers. We have to repair the pen repair the power plants so the lost towers get power back for the defenses. This one though here, and of course, if I notice here, those don't know that Joseph Kukan playing Kane. He's been playing Kane since the beginning here in the original Command Conquer here. Enemy in range. Uh, back in 2006, Command Conquer 3, Command Conquer 3 was teased with basically a new support of Kane's parent death. 
a known figure basically turn off the news board, turn around, is Kane, who says you can't kill the Messiah. So yeah, we got to first and first, take out the, mil the militant squad nearby, press Y on the D-pad to basically select the engineers, press the most trigger to select all the units here. Yep. Ground support. Affirmative. In anyway, transmission. Okay. Take control of the Pentagon with an engineer to restore command and control systems. So right now the only one who's currently in charge is Jack Ranger here. Our command officer. Engineer reporting ready. Rifle squad. Mm. Rifleman, move out. Reporting anyway, in. Get some more squad nearby, get the engineer there, right? Um, those are large transports here. When you build an airfield, you can call for transport to travel in large distances, or basically, if you can't get to location, you can't you can't transport. Those watch tires you see over there here, close to the um, entrance here, are very similar. In fact, they're from Command Conquer Two: Tower and Sun here. What I mean, structures. Anyway. Oh. Structure repair. Structure repair. Focus. Control back. Nice work, Commander. The radar is back online. Just in the nick of time, too. I'm seeing massive troop movements coming from the west. I'm sending you the coordinates. And there goes the power plants. Not have destroyed the power plants. The defense systems are offline. You're gonna have to defend the Pentagon the hard way. Yes, sir. You they found the power plants. All right, first and first. Garrison each of the four guard towers with GDI riflemen and hold off the Nod infantry wave. That's right. And of course now we can find infantry squad and garrison the building here. Now, now. Once, we, once we garrison the soldiers here. Commander, infantry such as the riflemen and rocket squads can hold down an area more effectively by garrisoning a nearby building. Give your troops a move order into an empty building to garrison the building. Anyway, you got some more troops. Anyway, when you garrison troops and when you garrison infantry into buildings here, they get a bit more protection though. We can do that too, let's see. Mode infantry except zone troopers. So that that'd be a late game unit here. Anyway. Anyway, once you garrison on the infantry here. Now hold out for a few minutes here before big reinforcements arrive. And when you see the flag, that means the units. Now, some buildings can only take two infantry, others can take three buildings, three infantry slots here. I mean, if they want, if they want to get to the infantry, they gotta destroy the building first. That might take a, a very long time. This is also a good way for infantry to get experience. Now reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. Guardian APCs. Good afternoon. Sorry we're late. We ran into a little resistance across the river. Operations underway. Um, they can they, well, they can transport infantry. They can also put infantry inside the APCs. They can fire out These of it APCs here. APCs are transports. They can carry units inside them. You can load and unload troops just like a garrison building by giving a move order into them to load the troops. Or by clicking the drop off button and then targeting the ground where you want to unload the troops. Also like garrison buildings, most units can fire from inside the transport. Every unit you have, all the infantry here can go into the APCs and they will fire. Uh, most of they can do, they do have some effectiveness against aircraft, or if you put missile troopers in them, they can basically take out Anyway, we uh, introduce a new infantry, grenadiers. They can clear buildings. GDI grenadiers excel at clearing enemy garrison structures. Give your grenadiers an attack order on an enemy structure to clear the bad guys out of the building. <laughs> grenadier squad, how's your throwing arm? Grenades Sorry ready? about that. You bet. How's your throwing arm? Anyway, Commander. first and first here, take the All infantry and right, put them in the APCs here to give them a bit now. more durability and a bit more movement. The Brotherhood of Nod has hastily erected a forward base at the top of the hill. Ensure Nod cannot regroup for another attack on the Pentagon by destroying this forward headquarters. Mm. And of course, when, when infantry can inside the APC, they also fire so they can add a bit more firepower. But if you had uh, grenaders, you can now clear out the buildings here with no problem here. APCs, APCs can also plant mines, anyway. 
and got a bonus objective. Clear out the, the enemy's secondary base nearby. Set the grenades and boom. All I'm in are dead and the building is cleared. Alright, there's one over there. I think that has the flag club in the club. It would cheat my flag. Ready weapon. Target confirmed. Give it to us. Let's see, no problem. Target the objective, clear all the buildings here. Ready weapon. Hmm. I'm trying to look here. Oh yeah. Unit under attack. I'm look for a status dude. Anyway, there he is. Um, that status you see there is of of, of Nick Parker here right from away. Command Conquer Renegade here, up. the first person shooter of. All right. Take him out. <coughs> Target confirmed. Objective complete. Anyway, right there. complete and Park there. Get some reinforcements. Ready All right, use the reinforcement to clear out the enemy. The secondary, the small little base here. I say I'm sorry about that. Uh, Parker was the protagonist you play in Command Conquer we Renegade. Game. Was, essentially, he's a first-person spin-off that's set in the very first Command Matter. Conquer game. Right in front of some of the force actors here in Code Force 2 game with prices full as Kane. So, between Command and Conquer 1 to now, in fact, Parker was promoted to Colonel. Let's make this quick. Wait. Give it to him. Uh, look at that. Look at all those grenades. Perfect for power control. Anyway, the spawning base is destroyed, and we get some reinforcements. We're coming. So the crates here themselves have two types of crates. Ready we get are. credits, ABC or we can rank up, we can either heal, rank up. Ready weapons. So you can either heal, rank up, or there's money in the three types of crates. Anyway. Anyway, let's get a good look at the, the statue itself here. APC, what's the plan? Park it there. Hang on. Anyway. Personnel carrier. Operations underway. Ready when you are. Take him out. Unit under attack. Hang on. APC lost. And that was my APC. <laughs> Move in on him. Personnel carrier. And we induced the enemy. Uh, last miss in here. I noticed Ready they not had an armed unit beside the Scorpion tank. The, the waiter buggy here. Operations underway. Right away. Anyway, those are the attack bikes. And they got a lot, very large Fire. amount of infantry here. Give it to him. Want to know when we play this game here? Group everyone to get together and attack one unit at a time here. They get taken. ABC, what's the plan? They go down right, extremely weapon. fast. Unit under attack. Stand by for assault. Anyway, the <laughs> Fire. Anyway, the APC has a small machine gun they can use to essentially target, attack any aircraft. Target there. Give it to him. But if you put, basically, that's some time for. But if you put missile squad right inside inside the APCs, anyway, hi havoc. APC standing by. Right away. But the only time you hear about havoc is in I think in the source material. One of the little, I think the extended source material that. But they would not, when GI basically retire a weapon here, he basically forced his concern here. Anyway, at the end of the mission, is it complete? The Pentagon is secure. Good work, Commander. You secured the Pentagon. Unfortunately, the whole region is still in danger. We have multiple hotspots up and down the coast. If you retake Langley Air Force Base, you'll have air support for all the remaining battles. Or you can go after Hampton Roads. Nod's landing troops there, retaking that base cuts off Nod's supply lines, reducing their ability to reinforce and gaining you access to APCs. With those two assets secure, you can focus on the rest of DC. So I wanted to end the part of one. See you guys in part three. Bye.